this trip particularly was very important for me, coming back to Guatemala, uh, a country that I uh, love very much, that has one of the biggest deficits on housing, over 2 million unit, housing units deficit. The idea was to bring uh, habitat leaders from affiliates and as well as uh, global village leaders to come and see the problem of um, poverty housing and secure tenure. Guatemala is a country that by their own constitution having a, a decent house is a human right. And when you see in, in, in walking in the Ayote in Finca del Sarsal and see the poverty that we saw, then you begin to question who is, who is actually guaranteeing that constitutional right. How are they enforcing that people have a decent roof in, over their head or an or, um, or, um, affordable home? The meetings with the different organizations were absolutely fascinating because as a global village leader, people often ask me why are conditions this way in a particular country? And I don't have those answers, but now that I've been to these different organizations and seen how the government works, I have a much greater understanding of what causes the poverty conditions in this country, and I think that's just invaluable as a global village leader. I've really enjoyed the Bill of Daughter trip, so I came as a novice and I've learned a lot. Just seeing the slums, seeing the government officials, uh, this is completely out of my day-to-day -day routine and as a private citizen I could talk to my ANC officials, I could write my congressman. There's a lot of things that I could do on my end to make a difference in my community. When we were in the Wheat Day building um, in the afternoon, it got a little hot, and so I was um, spending time with the children and coloring and playing, and um, one of the little girls, Johanna, ran home, and she was very excited, and she came back, and she brought me a paper plate, which doesn't sound like a big deal, but it was a it was very obvious that it was her prized possession and she wanted to share it with me and for me that was the most amazing moment because I thought of all the things that even my own children have that don't mean anything to them and they take it for granted and for this little girl to give me her prized paper plate it, it definitely is something that has impacted me and will remain with me and keep me humble. Do it. Definitely take a trip like this. Build Louder trips are a big step in the right direction for Habitat. Uh, it's helping to institutionalize advocacy as well as enhance its mission and spread Habitat's word um, around the world. I came here with the hope that we were going to open doors for the Guatemala National Office and I'm living with, with the knowledge that we did. We opened those doors. We, we open a lot of possibilities and opportunities for them. And trips in the future that come to Guatemala, go to Honduras, go to Ghana, any place in the world can do this. Open doors for the national office, create opportunities, create uh, that link between our national office and the government who's ultimately responsible to, to make sure that people have affordable housing. You know, it's like, it's like throwing a stone into a pond. You know, it, it might be one stone, but it causes a lot of ripples. And so I'm going to make a lot of ripples. Thank you.